In order to create your Somerset Star patchwork, you're going to need a few supplies. You're going to need a base fabric. This can be anything, just a piece of scrap fabric. It doesn't really matter because you're going to cover it and nobody's going to see it. You're going to need some fabric to make your star points with. And these are going to be cut at three by two inches, three by two inches. And you are going to need perhaps two colours or maybe three or four, depending on how big you would like to make your star. But we'll talk a bit more about those in a moment. You're going to need some thread and a needle, a pencil and ruler, some pins, and also perhaps a little bit of glue will come in handy as well. Cut your fabrics and the numbers that you will need and take this to your ironing board. It is easier if you do this at the ironing board, but I'm just going to show you here. You're going to fold under a hem on one of the long edges. So just fold it under about a quarter of an inch to three eighths of an inch thereabouts. And I would then put the iron over that to hold that in place. Once that's folded and pressed, you can then fold the piece in half to find the center point and just finger press a crease in there. And then you're going to open up and using that point there, you're gonna fold that over to meet that center crease and then fold the second one in to meet the center crease and then you will press that with the iron. You can use some spray if you like to give it a better hold. But you're going to do that with all of your pieces that you're going to need to create your Somerset Star. To start, you're going to take your background piece of fabric and you're going to draw a line, a vertical line. It doesn't have to be exactly in the center. And then using that line, you're going to create a horizontal line, again, roughly halfway through, like that. And then using your ruler, you're going to Place the 45 degree line along one of those lines so that you're going through that centre point like so. And you can just create so that you have a grid that's going to be your starting point. Now the colour that I'm going to start with is going to be my brown and so if I was to put that down obviously I've got a cream background. If it's the same colour as the background it doesn't really matter but you can see that if I open that up you can actually see my backing fabric through those creases. So I'm going to take a piece of my brown which is what I'm starting with. And I'm going to use my Elmer's glue and I'm just going to dab that and cover my center point like so with that, so that if there is any movement, you won't be able to see the fabric underneath it. Taking your needle and thread, we're going to use a single strand of thread and we're going to put a knot in the end of it like so to secure it. Now, at this point you can use pins or you could also use your Elmer's glue stick, whichever you prefer. You're going to take your starting round, which is going to be my brown. So I'm going to need four of these to cover my center point. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to place it down onto my grid. Now I have covered my, my cross point. But by putting that down so that that seam line there matches that drawn line there and my sides match up with my grid that I drew with my, my pencil, 
that should be absolutely fine. So I'm just going to pin that in place like so. And I'm going to work around placing all four pieces in exactly the same way. And this is where if you wanted to, you could use your glue just to hold those in place to stop them from springing out. And then just put a little dab on the back like that. And I can then place that. So now all four pieces are now in place on my grid. I'm going to take my needle and thread and I'm going to come up from the back and I'm going to come up through that centre point and I'm just going to catch a couple of the threads through that centre point like that. Now I've picked a really bad fabric because it's dark, isn't it? But I'm going to pull that through and I'm going to take the needle and I'm going to go back but I'm going to go slightly under, slightly under the point so that it will pull the tip of the, the triangle down like so. And you can see that I've used a grey thread, but really you can hardly see it. Once you've caught all of the points into the centre, from the back, you're going to bring your work, your needle out and you're just going to go all the way around the outside just with big tacking stitches. Just catching down and securing, and let's just poke that, securing those folds and those outside edges of your triangle. So this is my last piece. So I can take my needle and thread to the back and I can leave it attached at the back because I'm going to have my next round and I can carry on using it then. So just turn it over and put it in place just there so you don't lose it. So our center is now in place. So we're going to look at doing our next round. So using a ruler, you're going to place it down on that centre point and just use that as a guide. And I'm going to place the next round at half an inch out from the centre. Okay. So making sure that my point is on that folded line there and that this line of this crease comes, power is running with that line on my grid. And again, I can pin it in place or I can use a little dab of glue just to hold it as I work my way around. Place all four down that correspond with the four that you've already put in place. You can then take your needle and bring it up and catch your first one. You're going to come up between those two folds and you're just going to catch a few threads on that point and then go back down again trying to roll it under so it's out the way like so and work your way around catching all four points in place. Once you have those four in position, you can then measure out from the centre and just place your next diagonals on top. Like so, making sure that that line there runs along the line of your grid just there. Once those four are in position, you can then take your needle and thread and just catch those other four in place. Once all of your points have been secured, you can then come back out to the outside and do the big tacking stitch all the way around to secure all of your edges once more. 
You're now going to take your final colour and having prepared them in exactly the same way, you're again going to measure out from that centre, only this time we're going to use an inch. So there's my four originals in place and I'm now going to come back in and do their diagonals again coming one inch out from the centre. And once again going to go around and catch all of the points in place and then come out and tack all the way round. And there's my completed piece, nicely pressed. I would suggest you take your tacking stitches right to the outside because as you can see, you can actually see a couple of mine in there. However, once it's secured into something, I could perhaps take those out and nobody would notice. Don't worry too much about what the back of your work looks like because it's going to be covered. No one's going to see it. But these make great cards. If you did them Christmas fabrics, they make great Christmas cards and gifts. You could make them into pin cushions. You could make them into coasters. They're really, really pretty. Mark where your aperture is. And I would then go round a quarter of an inch all the way round with the machine to secure all of those seams. And then you can trim away your excess ready to go behind your card. Don't try and cut it all away because it will all just then start to fall apart. And then you can then stick that in place over your card and that will then cover the back of your work. But they are really, really pretty and they make great gifts. I hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and a comment down below and perhaps share, that would be lovely. And I look forward to seeing any that you might have a go at. Thanks for watching, take care.